Hello guys and welcome to another era of chaos video. Today we're talking about a beast lord at 6 stars, how good he is, is he worth getting and so on. Let me quickly uh, introduce to the talents, uh, I'm sorry, the emblems I have on him. Uh, part of an assassin in my opinion, pretty good on a beast lord. Uh, when it comes to the skills all maxed out, when it comes to the potential I have uh, some wisdom. And when it comes to... what else I can show on this guy? The talents. The talents I have some 22,000 so... He's pretty much maxed out. Now, Abyss Lord, guys, is a front lane killer. He kills the enemy offensive units, which is really, really useful for Zeron because in a lot of cases when you're facing, uh, for instance, Astro, the enemy Naga is going to slice your tanks and you don't want this to happen. You don't want the enemy Naga to slice your tanks. So what you have to do is you have to make sure that the enemy Naga dies. Unfortunately, the devil in a lot of cases cannot do that. So... How you can achieve that is by using the guy himself, the Abyss Lord. Now, when it comes to this guy, the strongest Astro in our server, before Abyss Lord, I could possibly beat him one, once in 10 matches in, with Inferno. He has some 2.5 million power over me. Uh, as you can see, he has maxed out emblems on Naga, not emblems, I'm sorry, but weapon. And look at this um, Titan emblems, pretty, pretty impressive. He has a plus 10 wall of knowledge. Now, before Abyss Lord, once again, I couldn't really beat him that easy. It, it has to be pretty, pretty lucky fight in order to do that. But currently we have uh, our chance because we have the Abyss Lord who is going to execute the front line. And I want Naga dead. I don't care about the rest. I want Naga dead. Now, if you're wondering why I have the Archangel, it will only work in a Zeron formation if you are attacking and uh, so that you know in which lane to put him so that he dies at the exact time you need him to die. And of course, you need to have him six stars. Is this investment good? No. But if you have, let's say, 10,000 Mitriel, then yes. If you don't have 10,000 Mitriel, I would recommend not doing that. Now, if you go to the battle, you can see what's going to happen. I will win this fight and uh, I will actually always win this fight if I use uh, Archangel. If I use some other Inferno unit, like for instance um, the Pit Fiend or the Efriti or the Hellhound, I'm going to lose the fight, unfortunately. Once again, 2.5 million power is not really uh, something to be uh, underestimated. Pretty good damage from the Devil, second ultimate thanks to the death of the Archangel. Even if you cannot kill the, the, the Titan, it buys you enough time so that you can see Naga is already dead. And from there on, basically you win the game. Once Naga dies, it is much, much easier for the Abyss Lord to clear every single other unit on the battlefield. Titan dies and when the Titan and Naga are down, basically uh, you win. The, the Astro player cannot do anything because he doesn't have damage. So, in a way, Devil makes sure that uh, Titan dies and Abyss Lord makes sure that Naga dies. Look at this, <laughs> Doombringer down 30 seconds into the game, unfortunately, but Abyss Lord was left alive and this made all, all the difference. Now, another thing that I wanted to show you is if you go to uh, the Dragon King, the Azure Dragon King, and you want to do some stuff here, now, Abyss Lord is not really the great fighter against the dragon, but the important thing, the interesting part, is that he can survive the fight after second 30. So, once the dragon does his uh, devastating stuff and everybody dies, the Abyss Lord is still alive. That's pretty uh, crazy. When it comes to this particular Drake, he doesn't survive a lot, but when it comes to the regular Drake, he survives for the full duration of the fight. So, if you have some pretty crazy emblems to give him, uh, he can do a lot of damage in the last 30 seconds of the fight, so keep that in mind. Look at this. We have some 1.15 seconds left. Actually, 1.15 minutes left. <laughs> and we have uh, the, uh, Asia Drake 1.5 million damage. Oh, sorry, 1.5k damage. I have no clue why I mess up the numbers. But the point is, we are getting closer to the 30 second mark. And you know what's going to happen then. Our units are going to die. But the Beast Lord is going to survive. Look at this. I'm going to uh, slow it down. At this point, we have 33 uh, seconds, 32, 31. I'm going to slow. Hey, look at this. The Beast Lord survived 4 seconds. Usually, if the Asia Dragon is uh, not the current variation, he will survive once again until second zero and that's pretty pretty awesome keep that in mind guys so this is going to be all for me today uh so if i have to summarize the beast lord is great if you're running inferno definitely have to get him see you next time guys take care
perfect.